Noon everyone, so today we're at a little Peugeot. It's a 207 2010, I think. It's a diesel engine, know that I marched for this, so. What we've got here is automatic. You can see it's got P, we're in part, we're stopped at the moment, but we've got the S with the light flashing there. So, and we've got the warning triangle. So, we're getting this code coming up in our automatic gearbox. Uh, 0768 sequence solenoid 4 output fault open circuit or short circuit to positive or short circuit between one wire so so there I think there's, is there four four solenoids in this box let's have a look uh, read the stream so yeah so it's oh, six so we select all so <coughs> What was actually happening, I'll describe to you. So I cleared the codes and I took it for a drive. So you take off first, second, that's fine. It's when you go into third gear, it gives one almighty clunk. And then it goes, it generates that code. So at the moment, because we're stuck in third gear, uh, you, you don't see any uh, sequence solenoid valve actuations. So let, just like you see, let me see main variables. Let's select all. Okay, and I think it says here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put it in that gear. See if it... So refuge hydraulic third. So it's stuck in third gear. So if I go in and clear that code, uh, it will drive normal till we get to third again, and then it goes bang. So let's do that actually. Let's clear the code, and I'll show you. Let you put the ignition back on. So clear the fault code, okay. See fault present. Read DTC. So still there, it says it's a permanent fault. So we'll clear the fault. Oh no, I've not got the, you need to put the ignition in the park position, that's what's wrong. So let's see. So, right now. So it's been key off, key back on. Sorry about the glare here today. Then we get the countdown. DTC, so we're good at the moment, so I'll take you back into read data stream, main variables, select all, okay, so gear engage, so we'll start it up, so we'll select drive, so there you go, it says, uh, gear change bastard, and then we'll go to first, I've never seen that one before, it came up okay the last time. Maybe we need to move it. But anyway, we'll leave it at that moment. Uh, changing gear, reverse gear. Well, there it's done it already. Feel it clunk. I'll actually see if that code's came back. Read DTC, no, it's not came back yet, but it will come back. So I'll let you see the car. So everything's uh, stuck under plastic, so I think you can see the the front of the automatic gearbox now I'm not sure if this one comes with separate solenoids or you have to it'll be like a full cassette I would imagine it would be a full cassette because it's a newer car so 
Ooh, look like a gearbox. So, or a wiring loom issue, could be, but I'll have a look and I'll get back to you if I find anything. Cheers.